Hi, welcome to I've Had Worse, and today I'm trying Burton Strong Ale. This is by Tower Brewery, um, and I really don't know what I'm getting. Um, I picked it up, and I said, oh, good traditional ale. But on the back, it's there's a bit of blurb about um, Burton on Trent brewing um, Indian pale ales and red amber ales and you know how Americans took that over, made it their own thing. Contemporary brewers in this country have done a twist on American IPAs. And then it says that Burton have done a twist on their traditional strong ale, but with a citrus finish. So am I getting just a remarketed, revamped IPA on steroids? Let's just stop waffling, David, open it and let's see. This is a 6%, so a whapping great big 6%, 500 mil, because all beer bottles should be 500 mil. Okay. And I'm hoping for something special. There's a lot of carbonation there whooshing around. Okay. Not just my atrocious pouring, this is really sort of that fizzy sort of, it doesn't say that it's bottle conditioned. Well, they do like a bit of murk in the bottom. Okay. So I don't know how widely available this is, certainly around the Burton on Trent area, I'd expect, but I picked this up in Morrison's in Oswald Street. So if it's made it that far, you should be able to find it most places, I would have thought. So we have a sort of pale amber colours. Yeah, they're not wrong there. Okay, so that's sort of. Iron brew, I was going to say then. Sort of the pale chestnut. Pale chestnut. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah. Well, iron brew or pale chestnut. Pale chestnut. Pale chestnut. Madam Brexit says pale yeah. chestnut. That's what we're going with. Okay. So, despite my sort of slopping it in there, that head has dissipated. Okay. On the nose. Metallic, coppery. Let's give it a big sniff. Copper, coins. Not a great deal else going on there. What's the date on the bottle? The date on the bottle is August this year, so well mm. within date. And if I sniff really hard, there's a little bit of sweetness there, a little bit of honey, and a nice bread. All right, let's dive in. Enough waffle. Cheers, everybody. Sweetness. There is that honey there. And again, it's that fine line, that sweet, coppery okay so not what i was expecting i was expecting ipa grapefruit so i'm just going to roll my eyes and uh, you know think oh another one but no this is multi honey It's a honey two pence piece. Okay, so nice multi hit there, which is refreshingly different. I suppose that's because it's six percent, isn't it? It tends mm. to get more malt. And I can't make that copper coin go away. So there's no, there's no hint that this is a six percent. It's a big flavour, so this is why I put this in the danger zone because you know you could uh, you could easily drink this, you know, sink a couple of these, no problem. That malt is interesting, a bit of sweetness there, but it's not it's like it's not like a saccharine sweet. It's um like it's it's the sweetness you get with some strong lagers when they fade. You know, they're just not that bitter. But I can't make that copper go away. Give 
and a good swill. So that's a nice bready finish. Okay, so all warming now. If it wasn't for that weird coppery taste, I'd say this is this is this is damn good. Forget the blurb on the back, you know, about being linked to uh, you know citrusy spicy yeah no forget all that rubbish on the back of the bottle this is really interesting it's a good there's a little bit of fruit there honey mainly for me but that odd copper finish yep can't make it go away okay over to you guys uh have you had it did you like it? What did you think? Um, mm, can I recommend this one? To be fair, I've had better beers. Um, uh, you know, some people say, oh, it grows on you. No. A beer, you should have it, and it should be Moorish off the bat. I put this one in the interesting category. Um, you know, I think there's... Uh, I spoke to a brewer once who said there were two, two, two types of pint. Uh, one that you'll have, and then one that you'll have another of. Uh, this is one that you'll have. I don't know if I'm going to have another one. Um, interesting. Yeah, this is in the interesting category. It's not in the. Uh, it's not in the really Moorish. I want another one. Get me one now. Well, that copper, you know, half, well, halfway down, and the copper's going a bit. Yep, this is one to try. If you like it, you're going to like it. It's not a bad beer, but I don't know if I'll be having another one. Okay, there you go. Burton Strong Ale. I'm waffling, so I'm going now. Cheers.